been very fortunate to live down here in the Keys. We've got the Atlantic Ocean in, on one side and the Gulf of Mexico on the other side. And um, it's, they're both two totally different worlds and uh, they're both equally awesome. Um, I spend about 75% of my time on the water and a great deal of it is spearfishing, but not near as, as much as I'd like it to be though. One of the funnest hunts we do here in the Keys is we hunt in the back country. In the back country we go back there and we hunt the mangrove snappers and we go out and have some tremendous days in that shallow water. You'd never believe that those two and three and four pound snappers would be up inside that shallow stuff like that. The way Chris hunts, he usually goes to one spot, throws the hook, he starts chumming a little bit, and he stays there for a little while. He lets the fish come to him. A lot of times, the way my brother hunts, the sharks are able to find us because we don't go very far from the first spot. Hey, you need this? <laughs> One of the most important things about spearfishing is protecting your fish from the sharks. A lot of times the water's murky in the backcountry, so it makes it a little harder to hunt and it makes it easier for the sharks to come at your food because you don't see them. Chris, you like this nice clear water. <laughs> Look at Chris's face. You're more than almost guaranteed if you're getting a few fish, you're gonna get paid a visit by a, by a shark. It's just something that you know is gonna happen, so you're always pretty much ready for it. One of my techniques is uh, I like to lay on the bottom and I'll use my throat and call the fish with a, a like a grunting noise like a grunt would make a <coughs> or uh, I just lay on the bottom and look in one direction and and then slowly pan back to the direction that I'm actually interested in to see if anything's going to come up from that direction anticipating the thing and you know, when's he gonna come the next fish I shoot he's gonna show up no nope, not that one the next one I shoot he's gonna show up he's gonna be here any second now it's uh it's all about keeping your composure and just become one with the water get you got to feel everything that's going around you got to like understand what the bottom's about where the rocks are pretty much laying I mean, you're constantly looking behind you. You're like, you're holding the fish and it's kind of, you're holding the fish after you shot it and it's kind of like a hot potato, you know? You're like, you want to put it on the stringer as fast as you can and let go of it as fast as you can. Even when you're stoning your fish with the knife, you're looking around, you're always paying attention to what's going on around you when you're diving in that dirty water. It's, it's amazing when you, you're back there and you've you got it going on, you got a nice stringer with some really nice fish on it, and next thing you know, here comes a lemon, it rolls up and grabs your nicest fish. You, you shot it in the head so it was perfectly, you know, it was a perfectly good selling fish, and the lemon shark grabs it and shreds it in front of you. Next thing you know, you know you're going, oh, my fish, my fish, get off of them. <laughs> That's what it's all about, hunting. Hunting underwater, holding your breath, and spear fishing. If, if you play the game right, you can go home with a nice box of fish. Seems like uh, my whole life is just all about the hunt. Whether it's um, chasing stone crabs with my stone crab traps, or Chasing lobster with the lobster traps. Spear fishing. 
it's the hunt. That, that's what I enjoy the most is the spear fishing part of this. The rest of it, I just gotta do all this in order to go spear fishing, it seems like. This is my weapon of choice. It's a 48 Sea Hornet. It's got a real good trigger mechanism. It's easy to handle. You can maneuver it through the water real well. Got a nice stock that you can put up against your leg for loading. The other day, I was out spear fishing and I shot a grouper. I ended up hitting him in his lip and he was really, you know, I barely heard him and he was just going nuts. He broke the barb off of my shaft. The nail stayed inside the hole, and so now I gotta try and get what's left of the nail out of the hole. It's gonna be harder than I thought. Proper tools to fix anything. And she's out. Voila. A little bit of Banging. Bang a banger. That's it, I'm flopping, that's all I need. This is my cousin Joe right here, he's helping me get these buoys painted. Putting smiles on them for me. Yeah, I'm not from around here, I'm from Massachusetts. I've been coming to the Florida Keys for 20 something years, and especially right here on Little Torch Key. I bring people down here that's never in that world seen something like this and they come down here and, uh, and it blows their mind. They can't, they can't comprehend the way life is down here. And once they come, it's, they're stuck. They'll be here, they'll be coming here the rest of their lives. Work first and then you play. Because if you're not working, you ain't playing. down here in this water right here you might be done shot your gun and the next thing you know you're getting paid a visit by something that's three four hundred pounds it's got sharp teeth lining its lips There you are with a wounded fish, just, it's pretty much one-on-one -on -one at that time. And then you gotta try and save your catch and save yourself at the same time.
out here. They were trying to eat our fish. We didn't want them to have them. Though. Three hammerheads, two lemons, probably two bulls. Yeah, it was an exciting day. This is this is a nice this is my fish of the day I guess. I really don't remember seeing one much bigger than that today. I just gotta show you some fish. I see that maybe a grouper. A grouper? This is a trap. <laughs> looks Look. really a lot like it? That looks a lot like a grouper. <laughs> that looks like a grouper. I like a grouper. You like a grouper? Oh okay. I like a grouper. Chris, isn't it hurricane season right now? Yeah, it is hurricane season. Hurricane season bites around here. Stuff like that right there, that's my dock. Now, that was a painful, painful day. You lost your keys. Can you believe it? Oh, oh. What's that, the fridge? <laughs> guys ready for a little storm chasing? Yeah. Hurricane uh, Wilma coming. All the lights are out. Now we can say we've been through some shit. What is that? Some Pepto Bismol? Pepto Bismol. Got a little stomach ache right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Where's all the little, uh, little, little Swahilians that are supposed to be helping us? Swahilians? Uh, oh, you mean like... Christian and Chris. Yeah, all those little jokers all that don't show up around. when there's work around and yeah. they just want the fruits of all our labor because all they want to do is spear fish and this is part of spear fishing so we can go spear fishing, right? That's it. They just want to go spear for spear fishing it's uh it's my relaxing it's that's when i'm relaxing is when i'm spear fishing i become one with the world and become one with the fish and uh just wait for an opportunity to to be able to take one 